Welcome to choosing loving kindness. I invite you to create a comfortable seat. Where you can be at ease and aware. And I want to thank you for choosing loving kindness this week. I'm hoping that with a little bit of practice every day, we can develop this meta meditation practice as an inner resource that we can go to for an experience of nurturing and love. And this week we'll also explore the many different ways that love expresses itself. And I'll be drawing on the work of a wonderful meditation teacher, Sharon Salzberg and her book, Real Love. And I'm hoping that one of the things that she says in the book will be a takeaway for all of us, which is to say that love is not just a feeling, it's also an ability. So we all yearn for love as if it were something outside of us, but it's actually inside of us. It is one of our superpowers. I think it's easy to forget because often we experience love as something that is transactional or conditional. And I think we've all experienced that kind of love and maybe sometimes have been disappointed. It's, it's not always sustainable. So what I'm hoping we can explore this week is a kind of love that is sustainable, that is always available. So we're going to be looking at this quality of heart. It's a powerful knowing of connectedness. It's when we recognize ourselves in another and when we feel seen and heard by another. So traditionally, the way loving kindness or metta meditation is taught is we start by offering it to ourselves and then to those with whom we have relationships to be people that are easy to love, people that we're kind of indifferent toward or that we don't know, and people that um, we might have complex or difficult relationships. And then we'll explore extending our heart to everyone, this sense of all-inclusive love. So one of the key skills of mindfulness practice from which loving kindness arises is pausing. Pausing to be truly present. So I invite you to pause for a moment or two right now and just reflect on what draws you to this practice of choosing love. Okay, that might be a little seed that forms your intention for practice. So mindfulness practice and loving kindness practice is a powerful way of attuning to what's happening inside ourselves 
So the direct experience of breathing, physical sensation, energy, and this quality or experience of attunement strengthens our ability to stay present with what is inside ourselves and also with others. Each time we come to practice, I invite you to come as if it's for the first time. You may be seasoned meditators, but let's just bring beginner's mind to this. And know that every time you get distracted, it's, a, it's an opportunity to offer yourself kindness. Oh, I got distracted. Let me come back. So in the pause, it's fertile ground. Once we establish that pause, that presence, it's fertile ground from which we can cultivate and grow our ability to love. So let's start. I invite you to take a deep breath or two and let them go nice and slow. Eyes can be opened or closed. Feel yourself coming into stillness and slowing down. You're arriving in presence. You can allow the breath to breathe itself. You might feel gravity holding you together. How earth is supporting you. You can notice the state of your body. Areas of warmth, or coolness, relaxation or tension. And you can also notice the state of your mind and your heart, just as they are. It might be racing or calm. Happy or seen. Let that be and feel your breathing. And relax whatever you can. There's no getting this wrong. Remember that mindfulness can hold it all. As time passes, you can notice that you can be present in the middle of whatever is going on for you. As you rest in presence, you might notice areas of ease Let your awareness also be with these areas of ease. Let yourself savor these qualities of ease and relaxation.
Might be the feeling in your hands, the warmth of the room, the softness of a blanket or a cushion. And from this relaxed presence, we'll begin to engage in imagination and memory. I invite you to now imagine your own happiness. Imagine the state of happiness that arises that's sustainable, that lasts. What is a lasting happiness for you? You might even visualize a time when you were enjoying this happiness. And if nothing comes to mind, you could visualize your own well-being, what it would look like, what it would feel like. Health, strength, safety, freedom, kinship. Love, being carefree. Imagine yourself meeting these basic human needs. And in this imagining or in this memory, you might become aware how happiness arises in relation to others. We rely on so many beings in our natural environment for sustenance, for friendship and support happiness and well-being. You like you could imagine all these relationships that make your life possible. How does it feel to receive the many acts of kindness that make your life possible? And so many are freely given. You might naturally feel gratitude. And you might naturally want other beings to be happy. I invite you to kindle this sense of loving kindness inside as as if it were a light. This light that shines with your goodwill, wanting for your own happiness and well being. See if you can receive it, truly receive it, and meet whatever surfaces there might be obstacles. Meet it with kindness. Feel your breathing and relax. You can acknowledge any feeling or any struggle and let it be. And if you like, you could direct loving kindness to the world around you. 
and explore how it feels to want love and kindness for others. You might have images arising and then fading after your child or grandchild or your pet. Let these images also fuel that inner light of love inside you. And as you're ready, you can let those images and imaginings go and come back to present awareness. Feeling your breath, sensations in the body, hearing sound. And know that love and kindness arise in this presence. This is where they begin. And we can establish it every day. Taking a deep breath or two. Establishing presence. Noticing what arises without judgment. And then finding a place of ease and enjoying it. And from that place of ease, a sense of loving kindness within yourself. So as we close, I invite you to deepen your breathing and open your eyes as you're ready, taking your surroundings in, taking the outer light in. And I invite you to join me in the intention to carry presence and experiment with bringing loving kindness into your day. Just with that short pause and recognition. And I, and I hope that you'll be joining me as you can uh, in the days to come. If you can't make the live stream, the recordings will be available for you. And I thank you so much for your practice. May you be well. <laughs>